I saw Triple X when it came out. I think I went to the movie to, to go see it with my mom. And my mom loves action movies. She loves Vin Diesel. So she was the most craziest person when I told her I got the part. She was like, are you kidding me? With Vin, tell Vin. I said, hi. Give him a hug. And I'm like, mom, I'm not going to give him a hug, okay? I'll tell him. I might even tell him you said hello. Paul Donovan, uh, the part I play, is, is working for kind of like the head guy, uh, military, for, for, for Jane Mark, who is Tony Collette. And uh, I'm basically like her enforcer. I do all her dirty work, whatever she tells me. So I'm kind of a, a, a good guy uh, and, until the end. I'm kind of also uh, Vin's or um, you know, Xander Cage's nemesis throughout the movie. And then at the end, we have a big fight scene, which is a lot of fun. We've been shooting all our dialogue, so now we, yesterday and today we've been getting into the fight scenes, which is the most fun ever because I get to destroy stuff. And I got on these, these badass gloves called exo gloves that punch through everything. And I guess they're real things too. Uh, so it's kind of cool to go there and destroy the plane while I'm trying to beat up Vin <laughs> and let him know who's in charge. We're both so big, you know, Vin and I. So when we're fighting, it, you know, that little space, it's getting hot in there, but I think it makes for even better action sequence because he's so graceful and he can move so well and he's been doing this for years and I have my football background. So I think it's shaping up to be an incredible fight scene that we have. Uh, you know, he's not only fighting me, he's fighting my, 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 my troops. Uh, but it's, I think it's, gonna, it's something, from what I can tell, it looks, it looks pretty damn cool. There's like three or four of them because we go through it. Like I'm punching through, through the, the plane, <laughs> through monitors, through chairs. And so they're taking a little beating. So they made a bunch of them. Um, and the, the really shiny ones when they get a nice close up is made from, from metal or steel, whatever it is. And then the ones that we use for everything else is, is kind of made of plastic. Uh, but we keep having to stitch it up because I've been kind of going hard on it. I, I think maybe I'm having a little too much fun. Some of the stunts, I remember reading the script going, I'm like, they can't do that, that's not real. And then I remember Bobby Brown, the stunt coordinator, he comes up and he's like, this is, there's really bikes that, that drive on water. And I'm like, are you serious? And he showed me on YouTube how it does, how it happens. Uh, so this stuff is, it's all absolutely real. I mean, this stuff actually happens in the world. So that's why the movie's so great because I think maybe a lot of people don't even realize that. I know I didn't realize it. And so they're gonna see it happen in the movie and you're gonna say, that, that can never happen, but it does. Hey Lisa, here with some behind the scenes facts for you. The character of Gollum in Lord of the Rings was digitally created by using 13 cameras pointed at different sensors attached to actor Andy Serkis' costume. Now the high speed phantom camera used in the Hurt Locker from 2008 had a capability of 2000 frames per second. Hmm. Now keep up to date with all the latest releases by subscribing to our channel and checking the notification bell. See you next time.